Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26.2 Which is the latest release from Apple and it offers a lot of new features and changes for your iPhone Now we have a lot of cool stuff here to talk about as you know iOS 26.2 has quite a lot of good new features and we're going to talk about some other awesome things that you can do on your device with the new iOS 26.2 that will make your device of course even better now before we get into all that i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel a lot now we're starting things off with a really cool new feature of ios 26.2 as you know you can now add alarms to your reminders but not just that it has a really awesome new feature now i have set a reminder here and as you can see I have basically an alarm for that reminder. But if I slide to stop it from here, you can see now what it will do. It will actually add it to the live activities on the lock screen so I don't forget about that reminder. Now the cool thing that you can do right here is that you can actually complete the reminder from here or if you wanna reschedule the reminder, you can now do it from here. So you tap on reschedule right there and then it takes you directly to the reminders. We can go ahead and now reschedule that reminder that it just showed on the lock screen of your device. Next up, we're moving to podcast. Now with podcast on iOS 26.2, we have some really, really cool new features. Now, one of them is the ability for the podcast to actually show you links that are mentioned within the podcast. So I'm listening here, and as you can see right now, they mention another podcast and it shows right here. So now I can tap and go directly to that other podcast. Now that will happen not just with the podcast, but whether you're listening to a podcast, it's talking about a book, you will have a link to go to the books app or maybe music, an album or something like that, you will have there a link that will take you to that album on Apple Music and things like that. Even mentions of different people, different creators and all that stuff. So it's actually very, very cool and super useful. Now, what you can do, as you can see, that link doesn't appear all the time. It just does appear when there is a mention in this case of that podcast. But what we can do here, if I go to this episode, so let me just go back here. If I go to this episode right here, you can see it says from this episode and here it shows you the links that will show up on this episode. So everything basically that will be mentioned will be right here. So all the links in this case are there. So you can go ahead and just take a look at all the links and not just wait for that certain time when it will show you the link on the player. Now for everyone that is using Apple Music, you will have a really cool new feature. All the music that you have on your library that is downloaded so that you have saved offline will now have also the lyrics downloaded and they will work offline as well. So as you probably know before, if you was playing a song and you had it downloaded locally on your device, it will still need to be connected to the internet in order to show the lyrics for that song. Now, when you download the song, it will also download the lyrics for that song, which is really cool. You can just view the lyrics even if you don't have an internet connection, but also it will save you some data because you will have to just download once the lyrics and you're good to go. Now, one really cool new feature and very useful can be found under the Passwords app. So let's go to settings and then just search for passwords here. So there we have the passwords under app and you will see something called here show excluded websites. Now when you go to a website, let's say on Safari and you have to log in, it will give you the option to actually save the passwords on the passwords app. But if you don't do it and you say don't ask anymore, then it will remove basically from the, it will remove that website from asking you whether you want to save the password or not. And in the future, if you want to save the password, it won't ask you to save the password at all. And those websites will be right here under the excluded websites on the settings. 
and you will see the list right here. All these websites are excluded. So whenever I go to any of these websites, if I want to save the passwords, I can because it I can because it won't ask me to do so because I have excluded them. But what I can do now is remove them from the list here. And in the future, when I go to that website, it will again ask me if I want to save the password or not. And one really cool thing that your iPhone can now do is flash the screen of the phone for alerts. Head on under accessibility and then go right here to audio and visuals. And if you scroll down here, we'll have flash for alerts. Previously, you could use only the flash. Now you can use the flash and the screen or just the screen. Now, in my opinion, this will be much more useful and it makes more sense because most of the time you will have your iPhone facing up. That way you'll probably not even see the flash if you're in a bright environment, but with the screen flashing, it's much, much better. It will flash the screen and there's no way you will be able to actually miss any of your notifications or alerts. Going into the news app, we have also here some really cool new things. First of all, the tabs right here at the top. If I go to sports, you can see it basically has an easier way to navigate the news apps and find whatever you need. So when I go to the sports right here, I can tap on the tab and I can switch between different sports as easy as that. So we have a redesign here for the bottom bar and the search section. And also you can see just like on the home screen where it has those categories that you can just browse through them. You can also do that right here on the search section. So without having to search anything, I can go again here to sports. I can switch between different sports or I can go to basically anything I want here like the puzzles. It makes it basically very easy for you to actually go ahead and just find anything you want. Now, another thing iOS 26.2 will do is that the, the control center is actually much better. Now, you don't see any visual changes here if you just take a look at it, but it actually has fixed the swipe on the control center. You can see now it's much smoother when you swipe between pages. And also, of course, we have the new animations on the control center. These animations are just awesome. So you will see this bounce like here is how it pops up. It's really cool. So it's basically better than ever. We had, you know, we had a ton of versions of the control center on iOS 26. Apple has done a lot of adjustments between updates, but now I think it's the best that it has been since the first beta of iOS 26. 26 actually back in June. And last but not least, another thing that I believe is on its best, like since the release of the first beta of, of iOS 26 in June are the animations. On the home screen, the animations are just amazing. So you can see right here, if I go to edit, you can see how cool that animation is. It's basically very, very close, not to say the exact one as the ones that we saw at WWDC 2025, but it's very, very close. Even if I go here to Safari, you can see that animation right there, how cool that is. It's actually really awesome. It looks much more fluid. And of course it goes way better with the liquid glass design than the other animations that we had previously. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are eight cool things that your iPhone can do now on the new iOS 26.2. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and of course subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys on the next one.